Hey everybody, how you doing? And two weapons back again with you today. We have uh, Jen with the Family Shooting Academy here to help us uh, go over some different types of concealed carry purses that they have available and that are on the market. Uh, she's going to demonstrate some different carrying applications and different techniques of pulling. Stay tuned at the end. What we're going to do is get out onto the range and actually do some live fire drawing for you guys from these purses so you can kind of check out how that would go down in a real life situation. But as an example, if you are looking for a good holiday gift, and I know it's a great time for that right now, your wife may have one of these normal purses where uh, she may have her concealed carry per, uh, weapon buried down there in the bottom of that purse. As you can see, I'm having to already start holding things. This will be hitting the ground otherwise. But if you had a life or death situation and needed to draw your pistol, uh, that is a uh, very difficult process to do right there. Not only that, but it's not very safe. It's not really conducive to having a good, safe, efficient draw. What you could do is you could have a, uh, a finger slip on that trigger. You could have an accidental discharge. You could have that trigger hit something inside that as you're pulling it out. Your zipper could get stuck. Uh, in a stressful situation, it's, it's very difficult to do a lot of that and still, you know, try to do what you're trying to do, which is pull your gun and, and shoot that person who's trying to harm you. So, uh, again, a regular purse like this, it's better than nothing, obviously, if you still need a concealed carry and you're a woman, but there is better options out there. And what we're going to do is go through some of the, the different purses that they have here at the Family Shooting Academy and uh, show you some of those techniques. All right, guys, so the first purse that we have here is from Gun Totem Mamas. It runs about $132. It's genuine leather. It is ambidextrous in a sense that it has zippers on both sides of it to allow you to carry a concealed weapon very easily by itself in those two different pockets. And what we're going to do is it does have, a, I guess, a Velcro piece in there as well. I guess they've been told that all concealed carry purses generally have that to allow you to hang on to the holster that you would have in there with your concealed carry pistol. But Jen's going to go ahead and demonstrate what your uh, technique would be for pulling from a particular pist uh, pistol concealed carry purse such as this. Uh, the important thing here is when you're doing a draw from a concealed purse is that you are grabbing the purse, you're pulling the purse away from the gun, you're keeping your finger indexed uh, as you're pulling it out. That way, uh, it, when you do have a, uh, you know, a line of sight on a target, you haven't strafed everyone around you. And uh, as you're pulling away from the gun, you also want to make sure that your purse kind of gets to a backward position. You saw that it kind of flipped behind your back. That way it's not falling down her arm and kind of waiting down her, uh, her uh, line of sight picture there for her and giving her a difficult time and shooting that intruder or whoever uh, is trying to harm her in that circumstance. So uh, this is a really nice purse. As you can see, it's, it's smaller. It's not something that easily stands out as being a concealed carry purse. And I think most of them are kind of like that nowadays. Uh, they match a lot of the trendy type of purses that these uh, women really like on the market, such as those coaches and stuff like that. And uh, again, this one is an ambidextrous one, so you can wear it left or right hand sided. Uh, gun tote model is general, uh, all leather, like I said, genuine leather, and about $132. So a great starting point for a holiday gift for a loved one. The next purse that we have here is from Bulldog Cases. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit less expensive at $65, so it's a little bit more reasonable in that fact if you guys are looking for a gift again for the holidays. Uh, it is uh, not genuine leather, and it is also ambidextrous. It has the two side zippers, just like our previous one. Jen's going to go ahead and demonstrate a different type of draw pattern here. And what she's going to do in order to get that purse instead of behind her and away from her uh, in order not to be a problem, she's just going to go ahead and drop it on the ground and then pull up. And at that point, you never have to worry about a, a purse falling down your arm or getting in the way of that draw and or firing. So uh, another really good method to be able to use these concealed carry purses, just dropping it as you've pulled it. All right, the next purse that we have here is from Gun Tote Mamas. It's $150, and as you can see, it's got a little bit more of a design pattern to it. It also has a really cool feature that uh, this particular draw, it is as well ambidextrous. The zipper goes from, you know, on each side, but uh, it does allow you to open the entire concealed pocket up here, and it'll give you an idea of kind of how that pistol will sit in these concealed carry uh, purses. Jen's going to go ahead and open that up and give you a kind of a close-up view of that. And as you can see, that, that uh, Velcro that, like I mentioned, is in every one of these concealed carry pistol uh, purses does allow it to retain it very well and gives you access to both sides to be able to draw that from uh, either side being a left or right hand carry uh, type of woman. Uh, so from here, guys, what we'll do is we'll sneak out under the range and we'll let you guys kind of check out how Jen demonstrates the different techniques for an actual live fire draw. And I think a lot of you guys will get benefit of that and kind of see the, uh, the differences in speed between those types of draws and uh, the different techniques and how you would do that.
All right, guys, so we're out on the ranch here. We're going to do a live fire draw for you to kind of show you the technique that is used. The first technique that we're going to do, uh, that she's going to demonstrate for us, is putting that purse behind her back and not dropping it, but getting it away from her arm so it doesn't weigh her down or get her in the way. And again, remembering that she's grabbing that purse and pulling the purse away from the pistol uh, while maintaining her finger off that trigger until she's ready to uh, get that line of sight in and put that uh, on there. So we'll go ahead and let uh, Jen show you how this is done. The second draw that we have here that Jen's going to demonstrate is the actual uh, larger purse here where she doesn't really want that in the back of her or on her arm and she doesn't want to take the risk of that getting in the way so she's actually going to draw and then drop that purse in order to get that gun up and on target. So we'll let Jen demonstrate that technique for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Until next time, guys, take her easy.